Welcome all, and welcome Mr. Barry Peatling to the Barry Peatling Football Show. And welcome to you, Colin Sutcliffe, and all my viewers around the world and interstate. It's a perfect day, Colin Sutcliffe, would you believe, to say 27 there is? Yeah, I think it, it's over 30. Is it? Yeah, definitely over 30. Well, that's good because... Too hot. So well. Uh, they good. should ban this weather. Ban that, yeah. So we had, uh, no, it's a very, very nice day to do the best and fairest video. So we're, we're doing the best and fairest, but we're also doing the leading goal kickers. Yeah, we're leading goal kickers. And we're going to do the top three goal kickers. Now, who came yeah. in third place, Barry? Third place in the G in the Chelsea Football Club's goal kicking of 2015 is Jason Clark with 20 goals. Second place? Frank Guerrero with 22 goals. And that includes seven goals in one game. Yeah, and the winner is of the Chelsea goal kicking of the year? Hudson Thomas with 27 goals. Okay, so not a huge amount of goals, Barry. Well, we didn't score many goals every week, did mm. we? What's the most goals we scored in the week? About 14? Mm. Highest score of the year? No, I think so, but uh, unlike your day when you... Um, well, I'm just me and Ian Morgan, myself, and... Oh, here we are, we've got to give that a bit of a mention, yeah. Give a little bit of a mention here. This yeah. is the time when you were going to um, swing the game in Ararat's favour, but you were absent. Oh, that was when I had my leg in the last home and away game of the season. Come on, I missed the finals, and that was a headline on... How many goals did you pick at, pick at that point? That was the first year. I think I kicked about 40. Only lazy 40. 40. 40, 60, 40, 37, 52, I think. So every year that you kick more than what Hudson Thomas kicked this year. Yeah. <laughs> and he's a full forward. Yeah, and I was a little luck mm. runner. On baller. Okay. Uh, but that was, uh, it was a pretty good headline, though, because it, uh, actually I was in hospital for two weeks and six weeks in plastic. Oh, God. Yeah. One little. One bruise on my knee. I thought it was just muscle. Yeah. It was a nerve. I, would, I nearly cut my leg off because I couldn't find the nerve. Oh. Anyway, I played the play to fall on you. Right, so uh, that's the goal kickers and yeah. a bit from yesteryear. Tie that in. Now we're going to go through the the, uh, the count. The yep. best and the Barry Peatling best and fairest count. So we're going to start off with round one, yep. Barry, which was versus E D S at home. Uh, yep. And we got one vote. Yep. Went to Guerra. Where? Are, yeah, one to where, right. Two to Brad Clark. Two to Bradley Clark. And one to Toddy Gardner. A uh, three to Toddy Gardner. Three sorry. to Toddy Gardner. Three to he won the best and fairest that week. Yeah. And then they had a game away, went up to Frankston YCW. Yeah, very hard to win up there. Very hard to win there. Now the votes were one vote. Where are? So the first two games, I didn't realise it. Two votes, Stewart. Ryan Stewart. Ryan Stewart. Two votes to Ryan Stewart. Yes, and um, three votes. Someone different. Toddy Gardner. Yeah. Someone a little bit different. So then we had Chelsea versus Seaford, right? Yeah. And uh, an away game or a home game? Uh, not sure. This is a this is a home game, but um, could have been a home game. Yeah, it wasn't. We had some home a lot of home, home games, games early. Yeah. We had four in a row up down here. Uh, you got one vote for Truey. Truey, where's Truey? Someone, did he make the list? No, he didn't, but he just, we're on there now. But Put him on there he now. Did, he did hold a few votes, Truey. How many for Truey? One. One. Yeah. Two votes, B. Clark. Bradley Clark, yep. Yeah. Three votes, T. Gardner. Yep. Bit of a runaway start. Well. Bit like Fife, bit like Fife start to the year. He's a nice for Fife with a uh, oh, MPL. Really? MPL now. Now, the, the next game was against Chelsea versus Bond Beach. It may have been away. Away game? Yep. One vote. No, that was home again. Home game again. Because Bond Beach couldn't use their ground. Oh, that's six. right. That's yeah. right. Couldn't use their home ground. One vote. Truey. Another vote to Truey. Yep. Two votes. Stuart Brook. Stuart Brook. Yeah. Stuart he, Brook. he wasn't on my list either. He's not on the list either, but he got two votes. And yep. three votes. Toddy Gardner. Yep. So I'd say that safely say that Toddy Gardner is leading at the moment. Yeah. They had another home game, Chelsea versus yeah, we had three in a row. Man Liza. One vote, Niza. Niza, well yep. done, Niza. Haven't got him on, yeah. Yep. Another one. Yeah. Two, two votes, Bradley Clark. Clark's doing pretty well. No, oh, no, yeah. this is his first vote. He yeah. got a few votes. And yeah. three votes, T. Gardner. First five games, so five best in the round. And then we had another home game, it says here, Chelsea yeah. versus Mornington. Yeah. Ryan Stewart, one vote. He's the captain, isn't he? Yeah. So Ryan oh, yeah, Stewart. But he had a very bad injury, but he, he came back with... It was, he wasn't playing at 800 more or less, but uh, he's now, lucky to be on the ground. Two votes, Smout. Alex Smout can play this fella. On the top of the list there. There he is. And, surprise, surprise, three votes, T. 
Tee Gardner. So okay. going okay? Unbelievable. Six games, six bets to the round. He goes on 18 votes at the moment, I think. Is he? Is right? Yeah. Uh, round seven, Lang Warren versus Chelsea. I'd like to put him on a handicap, I think. Handicap, yeah. 14 behind. Yeah, 14 behind. I think he still wins. Yeah. Lang Warren versus Chelsea. This was an away game, and I think this is the game that. No, Brad Clark got one vote. Yeah. And two votes, surprise, surprise, T. Gardner. Wow, slack. Slack it. Now, three votes. Guerra. Oh, seven goals, is it? I don't know, because it says in the away game, I think he that, got that at home, didn't he? I oh, remember right. he got it at home. Oh, right. I forget now. Yeah. This is Chelsea versus Karingal, which is a home game. Yep. We have Silver, one vote. The every start of polls that votes in the middle of the season, Silver, he's going to be a player. going to be a player, mate, for sure. Two votes, Jacko. Jacko, it's about time you got to vote. Three votes, T. Gardner. Yep. Well, all right, we're up to round nine. Chelsea versus Pines at home. One vote, Silver. Yep. Two votes, Zane Taylor. Yeah, yeah. Zane he had Taylor. two or three good games in the middle of the season, Colin, but he's only played it out again. Very good. So then three votes, Toddy Gardner. This incredible team. Now, an away game against Eddie Asp. Yeah. Maddie Silver won. This is round 10. Yeah. Maddie Silver, one vote. Jacko, two votes. Yep. Three votes. Jay Attard. Jay Attard, you had a good game that day. Didn't uh, tell you the garden went missing a little bit. What happened there, I'll tell you. Oh, I shot those five takers on. Yeah, that's right. So, oh. round 11. Yep. Chelsea versus Frankston YCW at home. One vote, Matty Silver. Yes, that's four in a row. Four games in a row, then. Two votes, Brad Clark. Yep. Three votes, T. Gardner. Yep. They must have missed the tram last week, I think. They must have wanted to miss the bus. They got, went to the wrong ground, so. That's right. <laughs> Round 12, Chelsea versus Seaford. One vote, Jason Clark. Yep. Two votes, Guerra. Three votes, B. Clark. Bradley Clark, well done. Well, three, they got cracked it for a best on, on ground. Chelsea versus Bond Beach, this is away. And they fixed up their ground. Yeah. One vote, Jacko. Yeah, Jacko, I thought he was Two votes, Bradley Clark. Three votes, T. Gardner. Very good, very good. He must have got the right bus this week, yep. that week. Chelsea versus Manalyza away. One vote, Rory Gregg. God, boy, Rory didn't pull much this year. Last year he pulled really well. Uh, two votes, Jacko. Oh, Jacko. Three votes, T. Gardner. Yep. So we've got, this is Chelsea versus Mornington away, and you split the votes, the, the, the third vote. Yeah. The, half a vote to Jacko. Half a Jacko. Half a Jacko and half a Jason Clark. And then two votes, B. Clark. Three votes, T. Gardner. This is, this is amazing. I really, look, I've seen some good players and dominating clubs and all this. This, is, this has got to be the most dominating of a player for any club I've seen in my life. Really yeah. and truly, and yeah. we're still going. Round 16, this is Chelsea versus Lang Warren, and he split the votes again. Bradley Clark, half a vote. Jason Clark, half a vote. I'll give them half each. I think half each. That's the Clark right. brothers. Now, they're, they're brothers. two votes to Charity. It's seven, six goals from the other isn't it? Yeah, that's right. And three yeah. votes T. Gardner. Yep. Uh, I tried to tell you got 40 possessions, but that Charity kicked six goals that day. We've got round 17. Yeah. Uh, Jacko, one vote. Yep. Smout, two votes. T. Gardner. Smouty, Smout. Smout, yes. T. Gardner, three votes. We're up to the last round of the best of the season. Yep. Chelsea versus the Pines at home. You split the votes again. You go half to Stewart. Yeah. And half to Smout. Again, 
Bradley Clark two votes and Toddy Gardner three votes. Well, it just scraped down my votes. We'll, we'll, we'll tally the votes One, and we'll two, get back to you. Three. So we've tallied the votes. So give us the third place getter in the Best and Fairest Award. The third, uh, bigger but the third vote contractor is Jacko. Jacko. I was just saying a minute off air that I, I was speaking to him last week in the hotel, and he said, "Where do you think I'll finish in your?" Let vote count BP, and I said uh, probably fourth or fifth. He's finished third, Jacko, eight well, and a half. Well, well done. done. Second, Bradley Clark with eighteen and a half. Very good. And the winner of the Barry Peatling Best and Fairest Award for Chelsea goes to Toddy Gardner with an amazing forty-seven votes right. out of a possible sixty. So congratulations to Todd Gardner. Well, apparently he won the, the Best and Fairest in Chelsea's best and fairest by yeah. 70 votes but they have five different right, people yeah. given the votes and he came fifth in the competition yeah 15 behind the leader can you believe mm, best for Chelsea obviously so he had a break a really big year so well done oh I must mention a few uh, bit of a mention to Silver too he failed in four games I thought he might have failed in five but yep. he is he is going to be the uh, up and coming one well, of the superstars going to be the up and coming star for Chelsea in the next two or three four years but the rest, I thought Thomas might have polled one or two of those, but Greg only polled one. Smout only polled in four games. But Greer only polled in four games, only polled seven votes. But how many games did he miss? He must have missed a bit. Missed a few. Eight or nine, I think. Yeah. But that was, Cornella was a, the way in the odds of 10 to 1 on to Cornella. Uh, Gardner and Bradley, Bradley Clark before I lot my count. Because they're not far ahead of the rest of it, which is uh, not funny at the time. So, just going moving forward then, so that was the count for this year. Moving forward, who's going to be the coach for next year, Barry? Well, I'll tell you the last couple of weeks, I've had some different versions, different uh, people tell me what's going on. I, I was, Jack A said he's just about signed. I, I asked Richard Howell a few weeks ago, and he said, oh, maybe. Is Snake telling me something about that he's just about signed? No, it's not official. I mean, this is October. Mm. Yeah, and, so your message to the board? Well, just not to the board, but just create a common sense there to name you and get someone else. Oh. Because you, if you beg your pardon, if you leave it too late, you're going to get the drop-offs. Mm. The ones that's missed out in the other clubs. Yep. I think I, I think that I was talking to Jackie. They all players like him. Yeah, okay. I mean, the other fellow two years ago, no one, no, everyone not hated him. Yeah. Even even the, the Pope didn't like him. Yeah. And the players wow. pretty easy going, aren't they? Mm. <laughs> well, there we go. Any new players signed up, Barry? Well, that's another thing. They got someone told me three weeks ago. They got two fellows from Tasmania, uh, another one from Deer Park, one of Guerrero's men. But uh, no, I'll wait till they uh, get them all officially signed before I can sort of announce it on here. Who's mm. playing? Mm. They, look, they've got a. So it's just room and who speculation. Was it said, who was it said? A couple of weeks at 19 players. Who was that? Did Snake say that? Someone, somebody has got to get rid of 19 players. Oh, yeah, yeah, about that. Yeah, someone told me. I don't know who it was. It's a bit wild. But I think they, they're uh, they've got to get rid of uh, half a dozen at least and get half a dozen good players. Mm. Got to spend some money, Charles. If I had, if I won't touch, make a pun. I had the first three numbers in Tatsuto Saturday night. First yeah. three, three numbers coming out. Yeah. Nothing else. If I win Tatsuto, I'll. I'll Sponsor a couple I'll put of players. A, put a bit of money into the club and then get some good. If they give me a chance to have a look at them before I pay for them. So that's that's basically it for the local football. What about the grand final result, Barry? Well, if anybody goes like to go back and check out my video last mm -hmm. week, and my prediction. I think I said uh, not. I don't think I said that Cawthorn will win by six goals and upwards. Yeah. And I actually backed them to win from twenty points to fifty-nine, and within about. Eight minutes to go, they were sixty something points in front. Yeah. And my, what's your name? The backman kicked a goal. And McGovern. The governor kicked McGovern. a brilliant goal. And I kicked three goals in three minutes, and I got me got the chocolates. PH, hundred and fifty dollars. Well, there we go. But I, but well, they were going to win by twenty goals in yeah. one stage, wouldn't they? Yeah, they, they took it, which does happen if you're going to win by. Sometimes they take the foot off the. Well, they do sometimes. And, and it was a hot day. It was pretty hard. But it was a. Uh, now they are. But all of. 
all the players in that club there's only one under 27 but they'll, they'll win next year they'll, if they don't lose any players yeah. they'll just keep winning mm-hmm. they're just too good kind yeah, of. Yeah, yeah. everywhere all yeah. around and Sam Mitchell did you watch the whole game? yes mainly, yeah. I watched the whole, most of the game Rioli was the best on the ground mate Sam, Sam Mitchell Sam Mitchell was a mile in front yeah I mean Rioli maybe a few good, a few good things early he kicked two beautiful goals in the first mm. quarter Rioli and took a few marks but Sam Mitchell he I've never. S- he's a bit like Greg Williams, and uh, who never wasted disposal. Yeah. Every time he gets a ball, and he always got a half an hour to get rid of it. Very, he? very consistent. Sam Mitchell, you were right, mate. You, you got best on the ground, mate. But who cares? But uh, but Rioli, he's got class, mate. Class, class. Whatever man. he does, you see that mark? One of those marks he took. Still on the back. Boom. How many goals he finish up with? Uh, Four. About that, yeah. Now I do think that. Uh, Mitchell should have got the money and, uh, and Brighton, Brian Wade, he gets better every year, mm. doesn't he? He stopped that, who's a gun forward? Um, Ken V. Yeah, he never got it, he never kicked a goal. No. He does it all the time. Mm. So anyway, well that was uh, it's a pretty good game, you, so you watched it all? Yeah, yep, yep, yep. So that was the football season as it was, any Cheerios, Barry? Yeah, we've got some Cheerios, we'll, uh, Annie and Carl, they're, uh, they have exams, her daughter has exams every three weeks. That's crazy. I mean, they do, and they got they, they do these parades, they got to have to do all these concerts, and they, they, they brainwash them with their school. Wow. But they must, in the long term, they're probably, they're, when they grow up, they'll know what's going on in the rest of the world, aren't they? Mm. And of course, Maria and the other, there's a Philippine, she's a little darling. Maria and her three children, they are Mary Russo, she told me last night. Yeah. Siron. Roselle Simon and Nicole Jerome. They watch it and uh, hope they enjoy that too, Maria. Of course, PH, Sandy and Carlos. I was pretty right, PH. I hope you had some money on it. Remember I told him last mm. week, PH, uh, McCollum? I said have some money on it. That was your advice. Six goals and up. I hope you had some, got, to, got some money on it too. Because I did. And mm. I was, uh, but it was a bit hair raising at the last five minutes when I got the money. So how else, how's Jerry going anyway? I got to mention him last week. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. Tell him, give me a grimmer, mind. Yeah, not bad. Jerry, yeah, mm-hmm. that you, Jerry. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, so that was, so that's the football season over and uh, everything's, what's... Horse racing, Melbourne Cup. We'll have to uh, invent some sort of little story up next week. I Melbourne might, Cup's I'll coming up. Doing, I, thought, I was thinking about doing a couple of songs. Yeah, I don't want to scare the viewers though. Oh, no, I'll do a few no, thousand, I'll do a few thousand rehearsals because Maria, Maria, because I was, uh, did you want to get yourself on? Because I was singing too hard. We don't want to scare the viewers. But don't, if we don't, we don't want to crack any screens or anything. You'd have to. We'd have to do it in good surroundings, wouldn't we? Cracking the glassing and all that sort of stuff. We don't want to. And you're you're the man for that sort of. Setting. The Melbourne Cup's coming up. The the um the local um one day cup has started. Um, when is the cricket officially right start? Right now, right now. I mean the uh, Australia stuff. Oh, Australia stuff. Well, they're not going to Bangladesh anymore, so that starts in the beginning of November. Hey, what was the reason why they're going? Someone getting shot? Terrorist, terrorist. Over there, the yeah. ISIL, oh, the ISIL fellas over yeah. there. Yeah, that's it. So we'll, we'll think of something. Oh, we'll think of something. We're, we're very innovative in this part of the world yeah. here. and uh, But that's all we got for this week. And for the rest of the fo- football season's over for us. And uh, bye for now. We'll see you next week. Bye-bye.